ready. So let's uh, do some notes here for this lesson. Make sure you have paper and pencil out ready to copy everything down and uh, to make sure you understand everything. All right. So first of all, this lesson is called percent of change. Right? So percent of change. Right. So we're going to find the percent of how numbers change. Right. Sometimes numbers go up. Sometimes numbers go down. And we're going to find the percentage of that change, right? Um, you know, if you're getting paid $20 an hour and then you get increased to $35 an hour, what percent did that increase? So we're going to learn how to do that today, all right? So the first set of notes that we're going to see here that we're going to highlight is here, what percent of change was there right which is what i said we're going to find out right what percent of change was there okay bullet point number two did it increase or did it decrease right did something increase or percent increase or the or did the percent decrease okay so what we need to do is we need to use this formula right here so this says the difference divided by the starting amount times, right? We know parentheses means times 100 is equal to the percent, right? So the difference means we're going to, let me pick another color here. The difference means we're going to subtract big minus small, right? The difference means we're going to subtract the bigger number minus the smaller number, right? So the bigger number minus the smaller number. Starting means what is the original amount, right? The original amount. What amount did we start with? It could be the bigger number or it could be the smaller number. So, okay, so that's what we need to know. So let's take a look always, 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 we always take a look at the instructions. It says find each percent change state if it is an increase or decrease. So we need to find the percent change and we need to say whether it increased or whether the percent decreased. So let's take a look here at number one. So number one says from 56 to 75. So we need to do the first thing we need to do is we need to find the difference. Subtract the big number minus the small number. So we're going to say here 75 take away 56. 75 take away 56. We're going to use our trusty calculator here. 75 take away 56 is equal to 19. So this gives us 19, right? Now, it says we're going to divide the difference by the starting original amount. So where did we start here? Here we started, it says from 56, from 56. So 56 goes on the bottom. So we say 19 is the difference divided by 56, right? And then it says times 100 equals percent. So we're going to multiply this times, oops, excuse me, times 100, right? 
and that'll give us the solution, the answer, right? So let's do 19 divided by 56 first. So let's use our calculator here again. 19 divided by 56 is equal to, that's a big number, right? But thankfully, the next step is times 100. So immediately, I'm going to go times 100, and that equals to 33.9. 33.9, which rounds to 34%, right? 34%. Now, it went from a 56 to a 75, so it's going up. So it's an increase. So this is a 34% increase. And that is our solution right there. So from 56 to 75, it is a 34% increase. 34% increase. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We found out. So again, we subtracted first. We found the difference between the bigger number minus the smaller number and then we divide the difference 19 divided by the original amount which was from 56 right and then we divided these two and then we multiplied by 100 and that gave us 33.9 and that rounds to 34% increase perfect perfect everyone so make sure you copy that down and you have it written in your notes so let's go to the second example here right now the second example is a word problem but the idea is the same right the idea is the same so let's read it first let's read the whole thing first in 2018 Ms. Lavi drove her new car 9,779 miles. She was excited. She got a new car, right? To save gas money, to save gas money, excuse me, in 2019, she drove the car 8,565 miles, right? So she drove less because she wanted to save money. A year later, she wasn't as excited. It wasn't a brand new car anymore. What percent did her miles driven change? Okay, so let's highlight our numbers and what's important here. So it says Ms. Lavi, Ms. Lavi drove her new car 9,779 miles, right? The second year she drove it 8,565 miles. What percent did her miles change? So, let's go back to our original notes up here. It says, first, we need to find the difference. The big, the big number minus the small number. So, let's take the bigger, the bigger of the two numbers, which is 9779. 9779 minus the smaller number, 8565. And what does that give me? Well, let's use our trusty calculator here again, right? 9779 minus 8565 equals 1214, okay? So we found the difference, okay? Next, we're going to divide the difference by the starting amount, by the original amount, so it says the first year Ms. Lavi drove 9779. So that is the starting point. So we're going to divide 1214, the difference, divided by 9779. And we're going to multiply that by 
100 and that'll give us the percent. So let us do division first. Divide these two and then we're going to multiply by 100. Look at that. So 1, 2, 1, 4 divided by 9, 7, 7, 9 equals a big decimal, right? Times 100. Look at that. And that gives me 12.4. Oops. 12.4, which rounds to 12%. Right? 12% what? Was it an increase or was it a decrease? Well, let's see. She started with 9779 and she ended with 8565. So they went down. So it is a 12% decrease. in miles so she had Ms. Lavi had a 12% decrease in miles driven in the second year right. look at that there you go All right and these are the two types of examples that you're going to have in your worksheet right one of them is just going to be just with numbers, and some of the problems are going to be word problems, right? But remember, always, 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 first thing we do is we find the difference, we subtract big minus small, and we divide by the starting amount, the original amount, and we multiply by 100, and that will give us the percent but remember use your trusty calculator right use your trusty calculator that's the whole point let's use our calculator okay so this right here kiddos is the video lesson for percent of change if you miss anything make sure you rewind or pause to make sure that everything is clear. Thank you very much for being here, guys.